Let's walk inside. Um, we have a few measures on for decision making, uh, but we don't yet have quorum. I'm going to recess for a couple minutes and see if we can get quorum. Mahalo. And I just want to mention that for folks who are opponents of GMO labeling, uh, they suggested that non-GMO would be a better label. And I just want to emphasize that placing that burden on traditional farmers and by extension, their customers will raise the price differential between organic and non-GMO and GMO products. And I think that's an unfair burden on all of our traditional farmers and the consumers, because that's most of what they consume. Increasing the cost of organic and traditional produce would also make it less accessible to low-income families who so desperately need to be eating uh, healthier foods uh, to help reduce their obesity. Oh, so I'm very excited about this proposed revision. I think it addresses the criticisms we received from everybody. But I'm very excited and I really want to thank everybody for their testimony and their passion as we move forward. I also want to encourage folks to keep it respectful. There are differing visions of how we're going to feed the world and how we're going to feed the state. And at the moment, we have to learn better to coexist with different visions. So we don't know where we're going. We're on the precipice of the future, and it's up to us to decide. But I think this bill is an important step in making so. clear that everybody does have to be at the table. We're not going to exclude the traditional farmers or, or make them have to bear an additional cost <coughs> in order to provide consumers with the information that they're demanding. So with that, members, any questions? I have a point of clarification. Um, earlier we were in the other meeting in economic development and I know the committee deferred this decision. Was there a time certain and there was, a, was there a reposting of the decision making for this item? Yes, there was. It was time certain and there was a reposting? Yes. But I just checked. It wasn't on the list. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening in my clerk's office, but we have a 8, 8, 11 a.m. stamping February 5th. We get plenty of notice. No, oh, no. no, when you deferred the item earlier this morning, Madam Chair, was there a reposting? No, we don't. We just recessed until further decision making, and that's consistent with the rules. Um, I believe the motion I double that checked. was made. The, I, I believe the motion that was made was to defer this item for decision making. Um, we have a few measures on for decision making. Uh, we don't yet have quorum. I'm going to recess for a couple minutes and. See if we can get quorum. Mahalo. And at that point, the item needs to be rescheduled for a decision making. If we want to be transparent and follow the rules. I think that everybody uh, who was in the room at the time uh, was under the clear understanding that we were recessing uh, until we could reconvene with quorum. Yes. Correct. Correct. Well, that's Correct. not the information we got. So we have a few measures on for decision making. But we don't yet have quorum. I'm going to recess for a couple minutes and see if we can get quorum. Yeah, um, Madam Chair, I'm, I'm asking you. So. I tell you what, recess? Sorry, excuse me. Okay, this is. That's fine. Who told you? What did they tell you? Well, I heard people that want to get in decision making, there is no testimony. The bill was heard on Monday. The bill was heard on Monday. That's when the testimony right. was taken. Then she deferred it to today. So that's, you know, we, the, I'm sorry. For we were waiting for the decision to okay. pass, to pass okay, so HB 174. We were waiting for the decision making. Yeah. I understand that. But when the chair, we have rules we got to follow. If we don't follow the rules, the bill is going to die. And that's what that's she was waiting point. for quorum for enough people to okay, show up in I'm, order I'm to make. I'm talking about this. Listen there. Hold on. Hold on. So you're so, saying decision making can't happen? No, no, no. Well, decision making could have happened at 8:30, but when the other committee was held and they were, we were voting in the other committee, we came here. It was deferred. But when the meeting was deferred, she had to come up with a time certain it on when that meeting was going to be. There was a recess so that quorum could be but made to pass the... Tech, what I understand, and we got to go back and check, and that's what she's doing. So, she's but I think the feeling here right now is, right now is, we have so little faith in anything you guys do, 
that you, you know any weekends like just listening to you I'm like fuck because you don't understand you never understand my question no, nobody understand what you guys doing up here we well, know you're holding up the decision making to no. pass uh, HB 174 we raise more well, but hey I appreciate you coming out and okay you know I'm trying to make sense but and it never really makes sense to me, and I don't like the tactics. Okay, I understand. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like what you've been saying to me. I disagree with everything, and but I appreciate you coming out to get it. Hey, Madam Chair, of House Bill 174, the recommendation is to pass with amendment. Uh, Chair and Vice Chair. Uh, I'm sorry, Chair votes aye, Vice Chair votes with reservations, Representative Brower, aye, Representative Pachola, excuse, Representative Choi, reservations, Representative Ono, reservations, Representative Takeyama, reservations please, Representative Tokioka, reservations, Rep Representative Suji, reservations, Representative Chief. Aye. Representative Ward. Aye. Reservations. Chair, recommendation is adopted. Thank you. Moving on to the next measure. Okay. It's really obvious the same guys who've been killing it all these years yes. are in there making signals. Yeah. And they don't have the votes to stop it this time, but they're going to try their best to stop it next round. So every single round is going to be important. Right, and it's a, it's a, it was a fight here this morning, even with a lot of people. They tried to uh, keep it uh, from having a vote on whether to pass it out or not, on a technicality. Yeah, they're going to try every single, you know, they say this place is supposed to be transparent. All of the uh, new leaders within this building said everything will be transparent, yeah. will be open to everything. That's all bullshit. Yeah. You know, they're, they're just as untransparent as ever, hiding and sneaking around and doing backroom deals. Well, we're glad you're here. Thanks for coming all the way out from uh, Molokai, you and your crew. Bring your flashlight. We need more flashlights. What do you think of uh, today's um, decision on HB 174? I think it's a good start. We would have liked to have seen a, a bigger um, span of the produce and, uh, and uh, food labeling, but it's a good start. It's a good start, isn't it? Interesting move by uh, Tokioka. Heva, in my opinion, you know, to try to play these games when we've been coming here for so long. Glad we passed it down.